My name is Amy George, K-12 Sales Manager for Robot Lab. I've been with the company for over three years. Uh, today we have a special guest, Timothy Gifford, founder and Chief Scientist of Movia, a company dedicated to special education and robotics. Uh, today we want to talk about how their technology is so powerful for students and how they change the lives of several kids with special needs. In this walkthrough, we want to introduce our customers to this solution and learn their story. Tim, welcome to today's interview. We're so excited to have you and share your experience with us. Uh, how are you today? Oh, very well, thanks. Thanks for Wonderful. having me. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Let's start by uh, just asking you, how did Mobius start? So we actually got started over 10 years ago when we were working on uh, social robotics and collaborative robotics. You know, how people and robots can work together. And my wife is a school teacher and she was telling me about the large number of kids who were uh, presenting with autism and how there weren't really good tools for working with them other than one-on-one -on -one, uh, interactions with a, a specialist. And of course, in the, you know, in the school classroom, it's very hard to do. And so did some research and found that uh, different uh, institutions were having success working with kids with robots. And I thought, gosh, if we can get this together, get it out of the lab and into the classroom, we could really make a difference. So we started to work on doing some research and we found that we could actually do that. We could make a significant difference for these kids. We got some really good data, solid data. And at that point I said, okay, well, let's start a company. Let's actually get it out there. And so we did that. And over these years, we've been building up the product and, and different ways of interacting. And now we've got, uh, over 400 units out and they are making an impact on the world. That's great. It's really good to see. Absolutely. Can you tell us about how the Mobius software meets standards and privacy regulations? So one of the things that's really interesting about our current software is that we're able to track uh, the students and in many different ways. And so what we've done is we've, uh, built activities and games and lessons that speak to very specific parts of the curriculum. We follow many different curriculums from uh, different areas around the country, and then we're able to see how the student is doing. And so with our latest software, you can actually create goals for each of your students. You can build IEP goals into the system track how long they've been working on each of the goals and how well they're doing. And then with our progress tracker, you can get a report, which then uh, provides you documentation that can be used to help support that children's, uh, that child's progress. Great, I see a lot of robots behind you. Can you tell us about Movia software and how it's so flexible with different, uh, different humanoid robots? Well, our platform is built on uh, interoperability. So we have developed a, a, essentially a robot operating system that rides underneath the uh, application. And this interoperability operating system enables us to talk to many different kinds of robots. And it's great because new robots are coming out all the time. And so we can integrate with that new robot and combine it. And the best part is that our entire curriculum can run on each of the robots. And so many schools have different kinds. So they'll have uh, a few of the little guys for individual interactions, but then the larger ones like a Pepper or the uh, iPal for whole classes and they can work right across. Yeah, I like how flexible it is. And, you know, we're all individuals and everyone needs their own specialized learning. So I really enjoy that as well. Uh, can you tell us about any success stories that have really made your work valuable to you and makes you proud of what you're doing? Well, there are many uh, um, uh, occasions where it's been very, uh, very powerful. Uh, one, um, one occasion that was really uh, strong was uh, a family that had a, a young child who is nonverbal. And the mother expressed how it's very difficult to see the level of understanding of a child 
who is nonverbal. But the robot was able to lead that kiddo through different activities and ask the child to do different things. And the child was engaged and did several tasks. And it was very relieving for that, uh, for that mother. She was able to see that her child actually had abilities that she didn't realize. And that meant a lot to her. And then uh, helps them to go on with uh, raising that child. That's so powerful. Uh, can you tell us uh, what's upcoming for Movia? What could we expect in the future? So we're going to continue to build the uh, ease of use to make the system more automatic and to make it so that it helps the user to choose the different activities and to follow the uh, um, the child so that it can um, uh, help with picking out different activities. Uh, what else? Well, let's see. So we're working on ways for the system to help the facilitator, the person who's delivering the different instruction to uh, adjust the system to the level of the child and then to lead them through the different activities so that they can scaffold on the initial ones and go on to more complex. So to help make the whole system easier to use. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for joining us. We truly value your partnership. Uh, the software is really changing the lives of many people, and we're just so excited for the future in our, our continued partnership with you. Please stay tuned all for our upcoming webinars, interviews, and more fun things to come with Robot Lab. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.